All right, well, hello. Thank you so much for joining. My name is Tiffany. I'm one of the teachers here at Okra in Charlotte, North Carolina. Today, I'm going to be sharing a little bit of the lead Ashtanga practice, which I offer. We'll begin traditionally standing towards the top of your mat. Um, we'll just take a couple breaths here. Just allow yourself to really ground down. Stand up nice and tall. Maybe just close your eyes for a moment. Just tune in with the natural rhythm of your breath here. Inhale through the nose. And exhale. Two more times. Inhale. And exhale. Last one. Breathing in. Filling the body up. Lifting up through the crown. As you exhale, really feeling the breath wash over you. Rooting your feet into the mat and into the earth beneath you. Bring your hands to your heart center here. We'll begin with our opening mantra. I uh, will own together, and then I'll just say the chant. So for you at home, if you know it, please follow along. Otherwise, you can just listen and take in the prayers and the message. Take a cleansing breath first before om inhale. Sigh it out the mouth. Inhale for om now. Oh, one day, Muranam Charana Ravinde, Sandara Shita Swatma Sukha Bode, Nishre I say, Jangali Kaimane, Samsara Hala Hala Mbohashanti. Abahu Puri Shakram Shanka Chakrasi Tahadinam Sahastra Shirasam Shvetam Pranamami Patanjalim Transferring to the top of your mat if you're not already facing there. We'll begin with Surya Namaskara A. Yegam inhale, bring arms up overhead, press the palms together. The way, exhale, fold here. Turn inhale, head up, gazing forward. Chatwari, exhale, step or jump back, finding Chaturanga. Pancha, inhale, forward to Urba. Shat, exhale, back to Hana. We'll take five breaths here. Inhale. Exhale, one. Drawing the lower belly in, breathe in. Exhale, two. Inhale. Exhale, three. Two more, pressing firmly into the mat. Spread the fingers wide for four. Pressing the heels back and down. Five, bending the knees, gazing forward, stop to inhale, step jump or flip into the top of the mat, halfway lift. Ajta, exhale, fold. Nava, inhale, sweep arms up overhead, press the palms together firmly. Sama, stay to he, bring hands down by the sides, equal standing here. We'll do that two more times here. Yikam, inhale, arms up. Dwe, exhale, fold. Trini, inhale, head up, gaze forward. Chawadi, exhale, step or jump back, chaturanga. Pancha, inhale, to urdhva, gaze up, heart forward. Shot, exhale, back. Five breaths. One, gazing towards the navel. Two. Three. 
three, spread the fingers nice and wide. Four, keep lifting the hips to the sky. Five, bending the legs, gaze forward, soft inhale, step jump the foot, coming to a halfway lift. Ashtal, exhale, fold here. Another inhale, sweep the arms up overhead, gazing at the thumbs. Some say to here. Last one, yekam inhale, arms up, shoulders relax. The way, exhale, fold forward. Trini inhale, head up, gaze forward, press the heart to the front. Chatwadi, exhale, step or jump back, chaturanga. Pancha, inhale to earth lift. Shot, exhale, back, ah. Hips are high, head is hanging heavy, gazing back for one. Nice steady breaths, inhale. Exhale, two. Breathing with sound. Three. Four. Five, bend the legs, gaze forward. Soft to inhale, step to the foot, halfway lift. Ashtal, exhale, release. Another inhale, sweep arms up, palms touching firmly. Some stay to you. Moving into Surya Namaskara V. Ekam inhale, you're gonna bend the knees, bring arms up, press the palms together, gazing at the thumbs. Do it, exhale, fold forward, straightening the legs, dropping the head towards the shins. Trini inhale, head up, gazing to the front. Chawadi, exhale, go back, find Chaturanga, keep elbows in tight. Pancha, inhale to earth. Shot, exhale, back, up. Stepping your right leg forward on an inhale for Virabhadrasana, one, warrior one. Inhale, rise, press the palms together, keep the chest lifted, gazing at the thumbs. Exhale, lower down here. Inhale, forward to earth. Nisha, exhale, back to Ada. Left side, try to take one breath. Ekadasha, inhale, rise. Dwarasha, exhale, lower down. Chayodasha, inhale to Urdha. Chaturasha, exhale, back to Ada. Five breaths. One, full complete inhales. Exhale, two, keep the gaze steady, back towards the bottom, three, two more, four, five, bend the legs, gaze forward, and chata shot, inhale, float to the top of the mat, halfway lift, soda shot, exhale, forward, forward. Soft and shot back to Utkatasana. Bend the knees, arms come up, draw the lower belly and gazing at the thumbs. Samaste, taking hands down by our sides. Do that one more time here. Yegam inhale, Utkatasana. The way, exhale forward, fold Uttanasana. Trini inhale to Arda, halfway lift. Chawadi, exhale back to Chaturanga. Ancha inhale to Urtha. Shot, exhale, back to Ada. Virabhadrasana, one. Inhale, Ashtal, arms come up. Another, exhale, lower down. Inhale, forward to Urtha. Exhale, back to Ada. Left side, the Kadasha, left leg forward. Inhale, rise. Vodasha, exhale, lowering down. Keep elbows in. Trayodasha, inhale to Urtha. Chatur shot, exhale back up. Five breaths. Begin to feel the body warming up here. Try to keep the full inhalation and exhalation. Belly button to spine for three. Two more. Four, relaxing the shoulders, lift the heavy, heavy. Five, exhale, bend the legs, gaze forward, and chop the shot, inhale, float to the top, halfway lift, Zoda shot, exhale, four. 
Sattarasha, bend the knees, arms come up, press the palms together. Some stay taking hands down by our sides. Moving next into Padangasasana. Ekam inhaling, then you bring your feet hips distance apart. So you exhale, fold forward, hook your big toes with your peace sign fingers. You wait, inhale, draw lower belly and press the heart forward, binding length in the spine here. Jenny, exhale, begin to fold, just dropping your stomach towards the thighs, let the head be heavy, elbows go out, gazing up towards the navel for one. Keep finding elongation in the spine, using the strength of your arms to pull you closer to. Really pressing into the knuckles here. Three. Four. Five. Inhale, straighten the arms, gaze forward, and exhale here. Moving into Padahasasana, hands beneath the feet. Bring your toes to about wrist crease here. Inhale, once again, find like lower belly in, gaze forward. As you exhale, fold, let the elbows go out to the side. Feeling the shoulders move away from your center line, creating more length here. And slowly begin to shift the weight into the palms of the hand close to the wrist here to alleviate any tension in the hamstrings. For two. Three more breaths. Three. Four. Five. Inhale, straighten the arms, gaze forward. Exhale here. Inhale, slowly rise. Step or hop the feet together. Back to the top of the mat, Samasthi. Moving next into Utita Trikonasana, Triangle Pose. Ekam inhale, step your right foot back, opening the arms up wide here. As you exhale, turn the right toes to the back of the mat, bringing your right hand down, hooking the big toe with the peace sign finger, or perhaps you bring your hand to your ankle, or maybe your shin here. Left arm is to the sky, gazing at your lifted palm here, pulling the left shoulder back for one. Really sh strengthening in both legs here, active in the quads and the core. Two, pressing down into your right toe for three, four, and five. Trini, inhale, rise, parallel to the feet, open the arms up nice and wide. Chakwadi, exhale, switching sides, left foot to the top of the mat, right hand to the sky for one. Breathing in. Two, bending at the waist here. Three, steady gazing eyes. Four, five. Inhale, rise once again. Feet are parallel. Open up the arms with the breath. As you exhale for B position, bring your left hand across the body. On the outside of that front right foot, or you can bring it to the inside, whichever is most accessible to you. Then bringing your right hand to the ceiling. Think about drawing that right hip back. You want your hips to be square and gazing at the lifted palm for one. Breathing in. Two. Three. Four. Inhale, rise once again, feet parallel, arms open. As you exhale, right arm comes across the left foot here, left arm to the ceiling. Pulling the left hip back for one. Two, twist a little more on each exhale. Three. Four. Inhale, rise once again, opening up feet or parallel. As you exhale, saw the same to you step or jump to the top of the mat. Moving now to Tita Parjva Kanasana, extended side angle. Ekam inhale, open your arms up nice and wide, step as far as you can to the back of the mat. As you exhale, turn the right toes to the back, making sure that both heels are in line with one another. 
bringing your forearm down either to your thigh here or your right hand outside. Left arm comes to the ceiling and travels to the front of the room, gazing at your palm for one. Two, keep drawing that left hip back. Try to sink your hips down as low as the front knee for two. Pressing down into your back pinky toe, finding a nice long line from your pinky finger all the way down to your foot for three. Four. Inhale, rise once again, feet are parallel, arms open. Exhale, switching sides here, taking your variation. Inhale, the arm up as it exhales, let it travel to the front, rotating the heart to the sky with every exhale for one. Two. Making sure there's space between the ear and the shoulder here. Try to find a long neck. Four. And five. Inhale, rise once again. As you exhale, bring your left hand across the body. So a couple options. You can drop your left knee down to the earth to find this revolved variation. If you do that, you can inhale your left arm to the sky. As you exhale, maybe bring that right or left elbow to the outside of the right knee. Bringing your palms to touch here, pressing down into the left hand, finding that twist. If that feels comfortable to you, you can also Bring your left hand to the earth and the right hand to the sky and maybe lift the back knee up. Even more so if you have that space, rotate that left heel down, bringing your right arm overhead, really twisting here, pressing your left palm into the earth, gazing at your lifted hand for one, two, keep your breath steady, three, Four, five. Inhale, rise once again. Exhale, same thing, other side. Choosing your variation, you may come down onto the right knee. You may bring the palms together and just shift the gaze to the ceiling. Or you might lift that back leg up, dropping the hand down, and let the other arm travel overhead for one. Two. Keep focusing on pressing the back pinky toe down. Three. Gazing at the palm. Four. And five. Inhale, rise once again. As you exhale, return song the state to to the top of the mat. So since we're doing a small sample of the lead ashtanga that I'll be offering, we're going to skip a few postures and just go right into our standing balancing posture. Uh, it's one of my favorites because it's full of lots of challenges and it can also really show you where your mind's at as we're trying to really be in tune with the breath and focus on grounding down into the mat. So at the top of the mat here, take an inhale. As you exhale, transfer the weight into the left standing leg. Bringing your left hand to the waist, inhale, bend that right leg. As you exhale, extend it out here, hooking the big toe of the peace sign fingers. Stand up nice and tall, inhale. Exhale, fold forward here, drawing your right shoulder back. Think about drawing the chin towards the shin for one. Bringing the gaze to the floor, inhale. Exhale, two. Breathe in. Exhale, three. Two more, breathe in. Exhale, four. Last one, breathe in. Exhale, five. Inhale, rise, standing up nice and tall. As you exhale, you'll open your right leg out, shifting the gaze either to the floor or to the wall over that left shoulder for one. Straighten the right arm. Your right leg is as straight as it can be. It doesn't have to be perfectly straight for two, three, four, and five. Inhale, bring that leg right back to the center. As you exhale, try to fold forward once again, chin towards the shin. Inhale, stand up nice and tall. As you exhale, bring your hands to your waist, pointing that right foot for one. Keep lifting it higher, you want the leg parallel to the earth for two. Strong for three. Four and five. 
since we had so much fun on that side, we'll do the other side, bringing the weight into the right leg, right hand to the waist. Inhale, catch the left toes, peace sign fingers. Exhale, fold forward here for one. Breathe in. Two. Three. Four. Five. Inhale, stand up tall. Exhale, opening up. Once again, shifting the gaze over that right shoulder for one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Inhale, come back to the center. Exhale, chin towards the shin the best that you can. Inhale, rise. Exhale, hands to the waist. <laughs> Pointing the left toes for one. Breathe in. Two. Keep lifting for three, four, five, and release. So there are more postures, but once again, we're just gonna skip ahead to what you would experience after we did some of the floor sequencing, or we'll go into the floor sequencing and then we'll do some closing. So inhale, arms up, press the palms together. Exhale, fold forward. Trini, inhale, head up, gaze to the front. Chatwari, exhale, jump back, chaturanga, elbow in Inhale to Urdhva Mukha. Exhale to Adha Mukha. As you exhale, you're gonna bend the legs, bring your gaze forward. Inhale, sweep one leg in front of the other, extending the legs out in front of you. Coming into Paschimottanasana. But first we'll do one of my favorite parts of this practice. When we get to the floor, we'll bring the hands down by the waist, really pressing down, lifting up the chest, Dropping the chin towards the heart here. Trying to find five deep breaths as you focus on the lower belly. Breathing in. Exhale, one. Gaze is soft towards the toes. Keep lifting in the chest. Two. Three. Four. Five. Folding forward, Paschimottanasana, hooking the big toes of the peace sign fingers, just like we did in Padangusasana. Pressing the body forward, draw that lower belly in. As you exhale, find that flexibility in the spine and use the strength of your arms to maintain that positioning for one. Inhale. Exhale, two. Three. Relaxing the shoulders away from the ears for four, five. Inhale, halfway lift, press the heart forward. Exhale here. Bringing your hands around the outer blades of the feet, finding a clasp, or you can just bring them to the outsides of the feet. Or maybe you're just right here at your shins, which is perfectly fine as well. So inhale, press the body forward once again. Exhale, folding here for one. Two, three, four, five. Inhale, halfway lift and exhale here. For one transition here, inhale, you'll cross the legs, pick the body up. So you're pressing the hands down into the earth. You just want to focus on lifting the hips up here. Eventually, you want to lift the hips up and try to drag the feet back towards the wrist and jump back, finding your chaturanga. Inhale forward to Urva. Exhale back to Adam. Bending the legs, inhale, jumping forward one leg in front of the other. And then we'll come right into closing here, coming into either a lotus, half lotus, or easy sitting pose, whichever is best for you. If you're doing the easy posture, you can bring the right heel close into the groin and the left foot in front, or you can just find a simple cross-legged position. We'll just take a few breaths here for our three closing postures. You'll grab opposite elbows here, or perhaps if you have this space, you can try to find your big toes. 
Inhale, sit up nice and tall. And as you exhale, fold forward, shifting the hips back, dropping the chin towards the earth, and releasing the head when you fall as far as you can for one. Breathe in. Exhale, two. Three. Four. Five. Inhale, rise. Exhale, bringing your hands, pressing the wrists on the backs of the knees here, index and thumb touching. You want to put your three fingers down to really accentuate and feel into a sensation of the energy moving out from the arms. Sit up nice and tall, soften the gaze out the nose. We'll take five breaths here. The biggest breaths we've taken all practice. Inhale. Exhale, one. Breathe in. Breathe out two, inhale, exhale three, two more, breathe in, exhale four, last one, breathe in, exhale five. For our last one, Utsuplut Tahi, you're placing your hands on the earth. And I will say it is a little bit easier to accomplish this full expression of the posture in a lotus positioning. You're going to press down and lift up and try to lift the knees and shift the gaze forward. If you're in just a cross-legged position, what's most important is that the hips are lifted. It is a little harder to keep the feet off the ground. So as long as the hips are lifted, that is what we are going for to maintain the integrity of the core. We'll do a little just for five today, but typically for 10. As you inhale, lift up, exhale, one. Breathe in, exhale, two. Really strong arm, strong core for three. Keep lifting the knees for four. Once more here, inhale, and exhale, five. Finding that transition, the little asana one more time. Inhale, cross the legs, pick it up. As you exhale, go back, chaturanga. Inhale, forward to Urdhva, and exhale, back to Adho Mukha. Returning to the top of the mat here, inhale, step jumper, look, halfway lift, exhale, fold. Inhale, rise to standing place, the palms together. Exhale, some stay to the hands down to our heart center. So we'll close it out with our Ashtanga closing chant. Well, once again, Om. I'll chant and you can just listen or chant along if you know it. And then we'll do an Om Shanti 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 together. Inhale for Om now. Om. Swasti Prajabhya Pari Pali Yantam Nyayena Margena Mahi Mahishaha Govramane Vihaha Shiva Mastu Nityam Lokaha Samastaha Sukhino Vabantu Om Shanti 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 Well, I thank you all for joining and sampling this little bit of Let Ashtanga. Um, I just love this practice so much. It really helps you to be rooted in the body by paying a special close attention to moving with the breath intentionally and really finding those gazing points so that you can really just be so present in the moment the best that we can here. I hope that you enjoyed, and if you did, hope to see you in the class. Thank you.